I don't remember what we saw last time. Where am I actually? Okay, Missy. Hello, sir. Hey, mister. Need of a good story? You won't be sorry. Thanks. Have a great day. I did read the whole thing. Mister? Hello, sir. Hey! Excuse me, sir. And there was me hoping we'd seen the last of you. Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. This all. Uh, this game answers a question that nobody asked. Can I help you? What was John's I hope life so. before Red Evolution <clears throat> 9? I want a loan, sir. A line of credit. So I can buy some property? What property? An old ranch? Beecher's Hope? <laughs> oh, that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But. <laughs> I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm. On account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. It's now, of course, different. we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes? Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done, and we'll fix up the paperwork. Oh, my 
Ed's just still looking for Gavin. Uh, I actually don't need it. Yet. He's so so weird, actually. enough feller if I could interest you in bounty work the posters on the wall ninety dollars it's a sorry situation with them mongrel dogs the Skinner brothers you're a good girl now Do my red dead redemption shit. Hey, stop rolling, bud. <clears throat> if I decide to play this game again, I'll definitely explore more. That's right. Listen up, this is my camp. Get lost. Okay, Stop. okay. Ain't you serious? I thought it was a free country was all. Well, that ain't too nice. You got a real issue, don't you? You want your hat ain't hung? That bad, okay. I'm done talking. <laughs> Well, I wanted to talk, he didn't. What are we gonna do?
Can I help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't Let me back sure. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> okay. I did not know that was gonna happen. Two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. And we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week, eventually. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come Uncle. here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I'm going straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's uh, slow and... Painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> I'm ready, Marston. Come on. Follow me. West. West. Oh, God. 
I ain't you a man of few words. I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Easy. <laughs> this is it. Look at her. Okay. <clears throat> what do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. I'm glad he came back, to be honest, but... <coughs> but John knows what he's doing, I think. I'm back, girl. Working hard. <clears throat> It's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I, 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 I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town, and oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles! Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good, neither. Who is Charles Smith? <laughs> I 
come here. This game has like 16 main main characters. Here we are. Come on, let's get off. <sighs> Back in Saint Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah, well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Oh. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slums. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnine. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. I think they might be starting soon. Enjoy the fight! <clears throat> Damn, look how much money I just made. <laughs> Probably why I was so broke with John. I mean, all oh, fucking Arthur. Hey, come on, Watch. No harm done. Watch your step. What? There's no need for this. Hardly believe it. You just slide across this force. Beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first hey, bar man I met. He told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, turns out. <laughs> Folks, they love a surprise, but they hate a massacre. And you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. Did not know that. That's that Uncle? Last what are you fun. doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. 
Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Wait. So if I bet on Charles and Charles lose? But what if he just was like... <clears throat> Cause I don't know if like Charles will bet on himself if he's throwing the game. I mean, let me save here. <laughs> if I can, I can't. So let's let me think about this. I could always restart the mission too. What? Ladies you know what? and gentlemen, I've gather seen him in better condition. I'll bet against him. Treat for you an epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors oh, yeah. and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable. The unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's Honestly, have a good I don't fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so betting. clean. If I can restart the mission, <laughs> I'm actually not going. Well, well, that's all I said, actually. Holy shit, I did not mean to go online. Month, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Next time, bet on a friend, mister. Sure. If we just made hey. a bet, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, we'll just have a few errands around. Why he was pretending? You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. He could have told me that he was going to throw that fight. Though. My bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, oh, you know bet? that Arthur... Sure. Holy shit. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. Uh, I had not to true, run. That's like 20 bucks. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Or 30. Oh, of course. 20. Honestly, <clears throat> actually. He's where he would have wanted to be. What? A pretty hillside facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel. No, I had three on my Some of his so. things in it. Remember that journal 
He always drew in. I got him. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Well, he wasn't a good man. None of us were. But, uh, maybe he was true to himself. Him and his code. <laughs> that pig-headed bastard. You get sick like that, I guess you... You gotta cling to something. You was hoping to come out of it. Hope was about all he had left. Maybe all any of us have. Hmm. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know... He ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or... Since before I got off Sisica, They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. I guess yeah. some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths, Micah? Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three! <laughs> uh -huh. You couldn't have thrown that knife! Right. Have it just one fight! Evidently! Ah. Let's go. Uh, there's a wagon up there. I'll get my back. Okay. Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold up. We don't need the attention. Hold on. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. San and knee ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Uh, deny it. At least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate San Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs>
I wonder what more people are going to come along. Ah, feels like old times. <laughs> Good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we or, good? Or, or, I think so. You can All add right. on to the house well, instead of showing it. Let's get Crazy going. Idea, but. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. That's it. This way. That's it. That could have been like a little shack for the boy. And I told you, it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Crazy now idea, we right? head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay, you keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Well, as long as we're gonna buy another house, I'm so confused. Skittish girl. He's going to dead or alive. I'm probably going to kill this nigga.
Jesus. Who'd do a thing like this? Me. Hello? Not here. Was still breathing. All the better. Hold him. Please, please let me go. Oh, what do you think? Elias Green, I don't need this paper here to tell me I can shoot you, but that's what it says. You, state your business. Get They hold the fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Listen, is it okay if I rob you? Let's get you up. I'm gonna fight you. You better damn not. That was a nice hat you was wearing. I'll make Where is this hat? I'll make you in. See you try. There you go. Now let's get you to Blackwater. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna take this headpiece for myself. That's mine, mister. And you belong to me. So I guess that makes it okay. How you feeling up there? 
It ain't a smart man. Do give it away. Blackwater Police. You need a rest. I'm doing the bomb with this horse. Come on, Green. Let's get you inside. God damn it! I'll bite you! Yeah, yeah. Well, got you that Skinner, brother. Elias Green. Set me down. Elias Green is a living breeze. God damn it. Put him in a cell. You ain't got a rope strong enough for me, Sheriff. Justice will be done and done quick. Lock him up. worth spit but here's what we're paying for him you don't mean that do you chief mm -hmm. it's only Thanks. fair yes, sir you're making an old chief's life a little easier you know how about coming back in a while picking up another I think I see you back here, Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. 
Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? You ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murderer, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I've given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. <coughs> Where is it? We're headed in, you say? Heads <coughs> out. Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course you <coughs> do. You're a good filly. Okay, smokers, man. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Who's this then? You know what? Yeah, well. Get out of here. What a that new horse. Uh, some both by ranches, some by horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Ah. Uh. Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, wanna talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is going to be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but... You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who said it all. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. 
And someday, I hope we'll find him. But not now. Come on. And honestly, out of everybody, I thought Michael would be the last one to take the deal. There's a spot up ahead where we can see over most of the country. They'll be down there. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. Be quicker if we both look. You I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat fella with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow him. We've got to follow them, John. Come on. Oh, I know what we got to okay. do. Okay. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. your chance. Yeah, they're stopping. 
And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. What you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Mm. Yeah, let's sneak. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. See how I aim down the sides, but I don't think I can. We can't go around them. You take one of them, I'll take the other. You gotta throw a knife. Oh. Bad as it is, we've got to do something about these boys. That was clean. Okay, let's move. Up ahead, another one off the top. Some of these, I got two of these. All right. We ain't sneaking no more. Look out!
first person is hella hard. But, uh, it's your call. <clears throat> I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. Right behind you, bitch. Shit! That damn harpy! Be rude, 
not to rob you. Let's get Finley! Get him out of here! Okay, you're taking Finley. Let's go. Get him on your horse. Are you with her? What's it look like? Get him up there. Come on. This is not the time to be shitty. Let's go, girl. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. <sighs> I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. Get back up there, John. I'll accidentally press triangle. You circle. heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Chase it. I can see now it has its rewards. Well, that's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. <laughs> Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. I'm not concerned. Here we are. Right. Well, Grab him okay. and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. Brought in Shane Finley. Great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Bastard! Damn you! One with the door open. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. 
Be well, John. It's funny because whenever I would go be like, whenever John be like, what kind of done? You know, what other options do I have? She was like, there's plenty of other options. Well, it's never saying an option. And instead of saying an option, she's just fucking left. I said it now, I'll be out of luck. Chop this out, we need a man. Blah, blah. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> Joking. How can I help you, friend? Listen, I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take well, that so one. They ah, the yes, home we have that and one then in deliver. stock. And I already got credit from what? the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. Yeah, it's that okay. easy. So that's Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Fine. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This Skinner's about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash, though it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No, wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You uh -huh. hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. 
But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. <laughs> wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. I think you was telling me something. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. Chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. And he knows me. So we'll see if we can get him to give you some. This is the spot. Just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Get your tools so we can go. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any, mate? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you than it I could. brutal
Who are killer killers? Devin, you okay? Yes. Got the last of them? I think so. There's more! They got the tools! They grabbed Mr. Wayne! All right, you stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, come on! I found the tools. Now, where's Mr.
gotta move fast. Come on. Let's go. Back to the road. God damn it! A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinners. Everyone knows. Except me. Later, John. Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody, too. Is he... is it... bad? They opened him up pretty good. Uh, nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them! Uh -huh. Mr. Wayne didn't make it! We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me! All right, let's get out of here. Oh, my lord. What they do to us? Nothing like. Come on, we gotta go. Shit. Those goddamn animals. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to Beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something, too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed... It's different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. And I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan. A few months back. Massacred. Uncle! Uncle! Oh, no. Uncle! You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town and you pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Well, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. John. Morning. I think that'll be all for me today.